back to the vlog. So one of the videos I did just recently about what E equals MC squared actually is telling us, you will have noticed there was a, a lighting problem. <laughs> When you look at the reflection in my glasses, you can see the big light ring that was directly behind the camera. Now, I couldn't really re-record that particular video, uh, just purely because, well, if I re-record it again but move the light, then I'm not illuminated properly. So it's like, well, the light had to be where it is, and unfortunately it was reflecting in my glasses. Now, you may also have noticed the other day I did a video about this and in that particular video I didn't use the light ring instead what I had was the window was on one side illuminating one half of my face and there was something illuminating the other side and you can just sort of work out in some of the highlights and reflections that you know that was what was going on on that side now I have a small little light there and I like this light a lot. It's actually quite powerful. Like I'm actually using one on this side of the camera right now. Like you can see there's a, a shadow if I move my hand uh, just between my face and the uh, light. Anyway, I like this light so much that I needed to get another one. So what I'm going to do this time is an unboxing video and just show you what actually comes with this light, how it works and why I like it so much. So it arrives in a nondescript white plastic envelope so I'm just going to quickly open this up and inside there is a tripod it's not an expensive tripod it's just a small one and you'll notice that it has a uh, um, like a phone attachment that also sits on the top but I don't use that there is a quarter inch camera screw on there so I'm just gonna put that there for a second there is a cleaning cloth and this cloth has JY photo on it funny smell to it you know what that is it's mothballs <laughs> There is a small little, um, how do you describe this? So you've, you've got the camera mount on this side. This side is a hot shoe mount, but there's also a screw hole through the bottom so you can mount it on top of something else, such as my light ring. And then finally, there's the light itself. So let's get rid of that. Okay, so. This is the Iwata Genius Light GL01. It's actually very, very well made and it's very uh, professional in how it's put together and how it's been fought out. Now, there are other similar lights, but this one, it, it, I like this one most compared to other similar lights for a couple of reasons. And one of them is just the way that the buttons are laid out is a bit more intuitive. So let me just get a knife to uh, get through this. Okay. Opening it up, you can see something that basically looks like an iPhone is sitting inside. And they're normally quite packed in these things. Yeah, this one's the same. Uh, dismantle the box and packaging so I can get the thing out. Okay. Yeah. They never make this thing easy. There we go. Right. So as you can see, it's wrapped up in some sort of uh, translucent material. And this is what the light looks like. Just bring this forward a bit so it's a bit clearer. It really does remind me of like an iPhone 5 and how those used to be made. Um, it's aircraft grade aluminium. There's a, uh, a hole in the bottom for mounting it on a, a tripod which it comes with. Other things in the box include destructions, English destructions. There is a small USB micro charging cable, a, a plastic diffuser, which will fit over the front of the, uh, the lights. To hold them in place, there's the silicone grips, like so. So the light itself, uh, if I just turn this round and I will press and hold the button on the side and you can see now that it lights up. So this one has come pre-charged. Um, the way 
that this basically works is you've got your up and down buttons on the top and then the mode button on the right here. So you can move, if I just come in closer, you can move the selector up and down and then for instance we're on the color temperature there so I can change the temperature by going up and down. We can also change the brightness so I can go up to 100% and if you look at the top you'll see that there is a timer that basically tells you how long the battery will last at that particular strength. So if I drop the strength down you will notice that the battery life will also change accordingly. That is a great feature as far as I'm concerned. Like I, I love knowing exactly what I've got. Now, the other thing is these are incredibly bright and the way that it works, you've got an array of LEDs along the front and if you have the color temperature on say the 5000 uh, mark, then what will happen is all of the white LEDs will be lit up 100%. If however you go the other way, the white ones will fade down and then the yellow ones start to fade up and you get a warmer glow. I normally film about 50% of each. Uh, I just think it looks a bit more natural, otherwise things look a little bit washed out. So if I turn this on, as you can see, there's a lot of yellow going on there. Um, if I now change the temperature and go up, now we're into the white and if I go the other way, you'll see it. Now we're into the yellow, so that's at 3000 Kelvin. So this is still only at 30% brightness. So I'm just gonna go back up into the middle area, about 4200 Kelvin. Right, okay, so now this is at 30%. What I'm now gonna do is increase the brightness just to give you an idea of how powerful this thing is. So that's 100%. Now, if I turn it the other way, I mean, like, this this thing is incredibly bright for what it is, um, which is why, you know, <laughs> everything looks a bit weird now because I've got this extra light. But I have a light over here, which is also probably about 50% right now. So if I drop this one down to about 50%. Okay, so now I've got the two lights are going simultaneously. So anyway, I'm gonna put this on top of the tripod just to uh, show you how that works. So as you can see with the tripod, as I mentioned earlier, there is a smartphone holder that sits on top. I'm just gonna take this off. So I don't need that. What I really need is my light on top. So the tripod itself, you, know, you can grip it like this if you wanted to stick a cell phone on there. I guess that's why it was designed that way. But it's actually a fairly sturdy one. It opens out quite wide, so there's no way that this is ever going to tip over when you have the uh, you know this the setup sitting on something uneven, for instance, or whatever. And because there is this little lock, if I move the lock over, I can now adjust very easily the angle that I have the light at. So you know, it's a freebie. It's not great quality, but it does do the job. So anyway, now I'm gonna set this one up this side. So there you go. This kind of setup is a lot better now. I can move things out a little bit, diffuse stuff around a little bit more. I can send some of the light behind me if I wanted. Like I can put it behind me and have like an accent or something going on behind or whatever. So now I can be illuminated in a lot more ways than what I could before. As I said, I really like these lights because number one, they're well constructed, but number two, they're as small as an iPhone and they, they are constructed just as well. I know I shouldn't be calling, I should be playing it cool, but that ain't me. So there you go, that's the new lighting setup that I'm going to be using going forward. Um, yeah, I'll let you know if anything changes in the meantime, but uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan, is to use these lights instead. 
So anyway, I'm hoping you find that somewhat useful. Uh, you know, if you've never seen lights like these before, that's what they are. And uh, yeah, if you like these vlogs, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.